So in this video, we are going to learn how to share new videos from YouTube channel on Telegram. Let's say you are a YouTuber and on a regular basis, you keep on posting new videos on your YouTube channel and you also have a community on your Telegram group or on Telegram channel. Now you want that whenever a new video is published on YouTube, you want to send the details of the video like the title, description and the link of the video on your Telegram channel or Telegram group. So let me tell you, you can completely automate this process. In this automation, as a new video will be published on our YouTube channel, automatically a message will be sent with the video details on our Telegram channel as well. Now, if you want to learn how you can set up all of this automation by yourself, for that, you just have to come with me to my screen. So as you can see, this is my YouTube channel. Now I want that whenever I publish a new video on my YouTube channel, I want to share the same video on my Telegram channel as well with my community which I have over here. Now to do this, we have to connect our YouTube channel, our YouTube account with Telegram. And we are going to use an automation and integration platform called Public Connect to do so. And to access Public Connect, just go to your browser and search for pabbly, pabbly.com slash connect. And here you can see we will reach to Public Connect's landing page. Here you can see two options. First one is sign in and second one is sign up free. Now if you are new to Pabli, by clicking on sign up free, you can set up your free Pabli account in just two minutes. Or if you're an existing Pabli user, just click on sign in. After signing in to our Pabli account, we will reach to this all apps page of Pabli. Here we just have to click on access now below Pabli Connect. And after clicking on access now, we will reach to Pabli Connect's dashboard. Now here we have to create an automation workflow. For that, just click on this create workflow button and give this workflow a name. Let's say I'll name it as YouTube to Telegram. You can basically give any other name of your choice. Then after that, just select the folder of your Pabli account in which we want to create this automation and click on create. Now as we click on create, here you can see the automation workflow will open in front of us. And in this workflow, you can see two different windows. First one is the trigger window and second one is the action window. So triggers and actions are basically those two concepts, those two principles on which this whole automation works on, where the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. So let's start with our trigger window. Now the idea here is first we are going to connect our YouTube account, our YouTube channel with Pabli Connect in the trigger step. So that whenever a new video is published on our YouTube channel, automatically the details of that video will be received inside Pabli Connect and this automation workflow will trigger. Then after that, using this Public Connect automation, we are going to send the same video on our Telegram channel and post it as a message over there. So let's see how it is done. So here in trigger window in choose apps, first search for YouTube. Just select it. After selecting YouTube in trigger event from the drop down, select the trigger event as new video in channel with video URL. After selecting a trigger event, we have to connect our YouTube channel with Public Connect. For that, just click on this connect button and select add new connection. Now to connect our YouTube account, just click on this connect with YouTube button. And because we have already logged into our YouTube account, our YouTube channel in our browser, we just have to select our account over here in this pop-up window. And after that, we just have to scroll down and click on continue. And as we click on continue, we will see our YouTube account will get connected with Pabli Connect. After making this connection, here it is asking this for the channel ID. Now it is most likely possible that in your YouTube account, you might have created multiple channels over here. So in this drop down, you'll get a list of all the channels which you have in your YouTube account. And out of all of them, you have to select the channel from which you want to capture new videos inside Pavli Connect. Right now in my YouTube account, I have only one channel named as demo channel. That's why you can see only one option and I'm going to select it. After selecting the channel, when we will click on this save and send test request button, the details of the last video, the most recent video which we have published on our YouTube channel, the details of that video will be captured inside Pabli Connect. Now before clicking on save and send test request, let me publish a video on my YouTube channel. So we'll just go to YouTube and we'll just upload a video over here. Let me upload it from my system. And yes, this is the video which I have. Let's upload this. So the title of the video is Big Wave Rushing to the Shore of Malibu. And I'm going to add a description as for example, we are setting up this automation. So just a random description which I have given over here. 
So this is the title of the video and this is the description. I will want the thumbnail of the video should be automatically selected. So I'm selecting it. Then if you want, you can add the playlist as well. So this video is not made for kids. So I'm selecting no over here. So I have added the title of the video and the description and the video is now uploaded over here and we are starting the checking the SD processing and the HD processing now. Now let's click on next over here. If you want, you can add tags and all the details over here and then I'll just publish this video directly. So let's click on publish. Now, as I click on publish here, you can see this YouTube video will be published on my YouTube channel. And here is the link. We will just copy this link from here and paste it in a new tab. And here you can see the same video will open in front of us. Now, after publishing the video, we will get back to our Pavli Connect workflow and click on this save and send test request button. Now, as we click on save and send test request here, you can see we are going to receive some response over here. And yes, the response is received. And in this response, you will see the details of the exact same video which we have published just now. Here you can see the link of the video, the video URL over here. We will just copy the video URL from here and paste it in a new tab. And here you can see it is the same video. Then after that, we will just scroll down to these responses. And here you can see the title of the video, the same video title which we have given. And also we have the description of this video. We'll scroll down further. Here you can see the thumbnail image of the video as well. We will just open this link in a new tab and here you can see the thumbnail image too. So in this way, all the details of the video like the video title, video link and the description of the video is received inside Pavli Connect. Also, we have the date and time that at what date and time this video is published and we have the channel name as well. Now using this automation guys, you can see in the first step, we have successfully received the details of a new video from our YouTube channel in our Pavli Connect workflow. Now after this, what we want to do, as we publish a new video, we want to post a message on our Telegram channel with the video title and the video description as well with the video link. Now to do this, what we are going to do, we will just scroll down and come to this action step. And here in Choose app, we will search for Telegram bot. Just select it. Now after selecting Telegram bot, in action event from the drop down, select the action event as send a text message. Then just click on connect and select add new connection. Now here to post a message on our telegram group or telegram channel, first we have to create a bot in our telegram account. And we have to connect that bot with Pavli Connect in this connection window. And using that bot, we will be posting the messages on our telegram channel or on our telegram group. And here in the connection window, Pavli Connect is asking us for the token of that bot using which we are going to make the connection. So before that, we have to create a bot in our telegram account. And how you can create a bot, let me show you. We will just go to a Telegram account and here in search bar, we will search for bot father. Search for bot father with this official tick. Click on start button. After clicking on start, we have to enter slash new bot. After entering slash new bot, it is going to ask a name for this bot. Let's say I'll name it as YouTube automation bot. YouTube automation 101. This is the name of the bot. After naming the bot, Botfather is asking us to give this bot a unique username and the username should end with bot or underscore bot. So I'm using the same name and adding underscore bot after that. Let's send it. As I send it, here you can see using Botfather, this bot is created. We have just now generated a new bot in our Telegram account. And this is the bot token. We will just copy this bot token from here, the message given by Botfather, go back to Pavli Connect and paste it over here. And after pasting this, let's click on save. Now, as we click on save, here you can see our Telegram account or that bot which we have created in Telegram is now connected with Pavli Connect in the action step. Now, after creating the bot, what we have to do, we have to add this exact same bot in our Telegram group or in our Telegram channel. And we have to promote this bot to the admin of the group as well. I'll just create a new channel over here. Click on new channel button. I'll give this channel a name as YouTube Updates. Let's click on next and here it is asking us to add the members. So if you want, you can add the members as per your choice. Now after this, let me tell you that using the Telegram mobile application and the Telegram desktop application, you can add this bot in your Telegram channel and promote this bot to the admin of the channel as well. So I'll just use my Telegram mobile application and add this bot as the admin. So let me search for YouTube bot over here, YouTube automation and here's the bot. So I have successfully added this bot as the admin of this group basically. Now after this, if we'll go to the edit section over here, here you can see I have basically two administrators over here. And the two administrator are first is my account and second is the bot which we have created over here. 
So in this way, we have successfully created a bot in our Telegram account and added this bot to our Telegram group or Telegram channel and made this bot the admin of the group or the channel as well. Now after this, we'll get back to our public connect workflow and here the first thing it asks us is the chat ID. That what is the chat ID of the Telegram group or Telegram channel on which we want to send the messages. So just now we have created this Telegram channel over here on which we want to send the messages with the YouTube channel update with the YouTube video details. Now to get the chat ID, what you have to do, you just have to open this same group or channel in Telegram web application, Telegram browser. And then after that here in the URL section, you can see this ID. So this is the chat ID over here. Just copy this chat ID from here and then paste it over here. Now, if you are sending the messages on Telegram group, in that case, you have to enter the chat ID as it is. But if you are sending the messages on Telegram channel, in that case, what you have to do in this chat ID after minus, you have to enter 100 over here. Just enter 100 between minus and the numbers and just enter the rest of the chat ID over here. So in this way, you have to enter the chat ID on which you want to send the messages using this Telegram bot. Then after that, here it is asking us for the text message. That what is the actual message I want to share? Let's say I want to share a message as hello. So this is the kind of a simple message I want to send on my Telegram channel. Hello, we have published a new video on our YouTube channel. Then I want to mention the title of the video, description and the video link. Now, instead of this message, you can basically create any message of your choice. You can just create any message or any draft message of your choice, which you want to send. And in this message, I want to mention the details of the newly published video, which we have basically received from YouTube in the trigger step. So we have the response of link of the video. Then after that here, you can see we have the title of the video and also the description. So what we have to do from this trigger step of YouTube, one by one, we have to map all of these details to this Telegram bot action step. And the process of mapping is very simple. Simply click on this field of text messages. And here in front of title, we'll just bring our cursor where we have to add the title of the video. And after that, here in this drop down, you can see a list of all the responses which we have received from YouTube of a new video. Out of all of these responses, select the response of video title and it will be mapped. Then follow the same process of mapping for description and video link as well. From the drop down, select and map the description and the video link too. In this way, you can basically create any message over here and enter or map any details of your choice. Now, whenever a new video will be published on our YouTube channel, the same video will be received inside Pavli Connect. And using this automation, the same video details will be added in the message, which we are going to send on our Telegram channel. After creating the message and mapping all the details, it is asking us thread message ID and reply to message ID. So both of these fields are not mandatory because we are not replying to any existing message on our Telegram channel. So you can just ignore these fields for now. Then it is asking us disable notification, disable web page preview, allow sending without reply and protect content. So you can select any option from this drop down as per your choice, as per your requirement. Then it is asking us fast mode. So in the drop down, we have two options, HTML and markdown. And we are going to select HTML as the pass mode over here. Now, if you want, you can send some kind of quick reply or redirect button in your Telegram message as well. If you want to send it, just enter the labels, the name of the button which you want to give in a comma separate value. And after that, whatever URL you want to redirect the user on clicking on that button, you have to enter the URLs over here, separated by comma as given in the examples. But right now, I don't want to send any kind of messages with the button. So we are just going to ignore these fields and keep it blank for now. And after entering all the details and selecting all the options, just click on save and send test request. Now, after clicking on save and send test request, here you can see we have received some response. And this response seems to be a positive response to us. This response shows that the message which we have created over here, this message is now shared on this Telegram group or Telegram channel whose chat ID we have entered. So let's check it. We will go to our Telegram channel. And yes, here you can see the exact same message which we have created in our public connect workflow is shared on our Telegram channel. And in this message, we have the details of our YouTube video. We have the title of the video, the same video description, and also the link of the video. And if you click on this link here, you can see the same YouTube video will open in front of us. This means the automation workflow which we have created between YouTube and Telegram to share newly published videos from our YouTube channel to our Telegram channel, this automation is working perfectly fine. Now using this automation, whenever we are going to publish a new video on our YouTube channel, within 10 minutes, the same message, the same video details will be posted on our Telegram channel as a message with the video link. 
and it basically takes 10 minutes of time because the connection between YouTube and Public Connect is a polling based connection. And in this type of connection, Public Connect will check for new video on our YouTube channel every 10 minutes. So every 10 minutes, Public Connect will check whether we have a newly published video on our YouTube channel or not. And if we have one, in that case, what is going to happen? It will get the details of that video and this automation workflow will trigger. And using this automation, we will send the video details as a notification as a message on our Telegram channel. So not just these applications, you can connect plenty of other applications with Public Connect. And one more important thing. You will find the clone link of this same workflow in the description box below. By clicking on that link, you can just clone this exact same automation workflow into your own Public Connect account and use this automation for free. Also, let me tell you, Public Connect offers you a free plan. And in this plan, you will get some free tasks every month into your own Public Connect account. So if you want to try and test this automation, you can do it for absolutely free. So if this video was helpful to you, don't forget to hit the like button, share it with others. Or if you have any kind of doubts or queries, you can always write us in the comment box below or email us at support at Also, you can post your queries on our forum as well. And if you want to check the pricing of Fabric Connect, you can visit this link. So this is it for today's video. Thank you. Have a great day.